What fascinated me was uh, how you described that the hemispheres attend in a different way. Yes. So it's not that they do different things, they do the same things. Yes. But in markedly different ways. Yes. They, they extend attention or, or they use attention in different ways or they have a different type of intent, uh, attention. Yes. And intention. Yes, um, yes. And um, you use the um, example of a, of a bird um, picking at a seed mm. and it needs the focus of finding the seed but it also needs the um, gestalt, the overall awareness in case there are predators. Mm. And it seems that all mammals have, or, or, or many creatures have, have this sort of, um, uh, you know, these two hemispheres. But it's only mammals that have the connecting corpus. That's corpus. right. Uh, it, the corpus callosum, the band of fibres mm. that connects the two hemispheres, began in mammals. But the notion that one needed two centres of attention uh, is very, very primitive. Uh, every creature that we've looked at is asymmetrical in this way. So it's certainly not just mammals or even reptiles, amphibians, um, birds, insects, fish, uh, and the most ancient creature that we know is Nematostella vectensis, uh, a, a kind of very ancient 700 million year old creature, it's still extant, mm -hmm. swimming around off the Isle of Wight. Um, <laughs> but it's, um, it has an asymmetrical network, neural net, already. And that's the, the earliest one we know. So it's been there from the start. You need to attend to the world. Every creature needs to attend to the world in two different ways at once. And because a single neuronal mass can only dispose its attention in one way at any moment in time, it's been necessary to have two. And what's fascinating is that they only started even to be connected with mammals and that, as I discovered, the corpus callosum, the band of fibres that connects the two brain hemispheres, is a lot about inhibition rather than transmission uh, of that information. That really fascinating because I, uh, I'd always thought it was a connecting yes. <coughs> branch you know, yes. uh, between the two hemispheres. Yes. But it, it's a lot to do with inhibition, with, with, with um, putting the brakes on. It is, uh, it is. Of awareness. And what we don't realise in the way we think now is that negation and not doing and not knowing can be very creative. Um, it's actually a commonplace of oriental wisdom, but it's something we don't understand looking at the world we way, the way we do now in the West. But it's intriguing that there are more, quite apart from the corpus callosum, which as I say, ultimately its effect is largely to keep the two hemispheres separate. Mm -hmm. Keep them informed when they need to be, right. but largely saying, you keep out of this while I deal with it. Okay, so like the master and his... The, like the master and the hemisphere, they need to be separate, but they both have a role. Yeah. But in addition to that, primates have more inhibitory neurons than any other mammal. And human beings have more inhibitory neurons than any other primate. So inhibition is incredibly important mm. for the proper functioning of the brain.